European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, perhaps the most prominent advocate of that dreaded COVID passport, uh, was out there advocating that we all have to have digital IDs because the future will be digital. You shouldn't have privacy, apparently. Yeah, that's what she believes. She claims that the IDs can be a real booster to emerging economies. The trick is to build public digital infrastructure, she said, that is interoperable, open to all, and trusted. Ah. Joining me now to explain just how dangerous this is, Nigel Farage, former Brexit Party leader. Nigel, this is about global government control and a way to what? Redistribute the wealth away from the so-called wealthy nations to everybody else? Well, it's about control, isn't it? I mean, this is the most glaring example we've ever seen from a prominent world leader. Von der Leyen is the president of the European Commission, 450 million people living within that union. Oh, and by the way, she's unelected, she's appointed, and here she is brazenly saying, we need a digital ID card or app on our phones. Now, bear in mind, France and Germany are trialing this already. The European Union, she wants this to be enforced by the early 2030s and, may I add, backed up by a central bank digital currency living in a cashless society. And now she wants the whole thing to go global. Can you imagine on this ID card will be not just your date of birth, your gender, your eye color, your height, your approximate weight. There will be your vaccine status, your financial status, and goodness knows what else will be on that card. Can you imagine this data falling into the hands of bad actors? And if you think about it, That's and, and I speak to somebody, I speak to somebody who's recently been debanked as a result of his political opinions, and this is happening in America too, as you well know, to lots of people. If we're not careful, we head towards a Chinese-style social credit system where unless you go along with the views of a day, you become a non-person. I cannot think of a more dangerous initiative than this. The problem we've got is we have to ask a question whether our leaders actually believe in our nation because they're prepared to surrender sovereignty to the World Health Organization, the United Nations, the EU, and goodness knows what comes after that. And the truth of it is, the world will be a better, more prosperous, peaceful place if democratic nation states cooperate and trade together, not give away their powers to unelected bureaucrats. And that was the Brexit message all those years ago. I now think what our little island did becomes a stronger message for the world, and in particular, after what von der Leyen said. We simply have to say, no, we believe in liberty, we believe in freedom, we believe in the nation state.